Okay, so we're going to start off by roughly melting 125 grams of butter. So just have it on a low heat because we don't want this to uh, catch or burn or anything. Okay, so. Um, because the haunch that we're cooking today is pretty lean, I don't want it to go kind of dry or anything on the smoker. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject it with some some kind of flavoured butter. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some stuff to it, melt it, leave it a few minutes, um, let it cool down, and then we're going to put it into a food processor or a Nutribullet in my case, and we're going to blend it up so all the spices um, kind of fit through the syringe because we're going to inject the meat with a syringe. Okay, so here I've got 10 juniper berries. Okay, so they're going in. Let's turn this down a little bit now. Okay. Half a star anise. Okay, so that's going in. Third with a cinnamon stick. Three cloves. Now right into this I'm just gonna chop up one large garlic clove. I'm also gonna put in a little bit of fresh thyme. So I've got this on the lowest possible heat. I'm just going to give it a few minutes, keep stirring it. We don't want it to get too hot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let it cool right down, blend it all together, make sure it's um, as cold as you can get without it thickening up because obviously if it goes, turns back to butter then we're not going to be able to inject it. It still needs to be kind of liquidy. This hopefully will stop it from going dry. We will see. I'm sure it will. Like. Okay so I'm now going to take this off the heat and allow it to cool down for about 10 minutes. Okay if we transfer this into another pan it's cold so it will help it cool down a little bit quicker. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got a haunch. It's only a little one. Um, it's from from a month jack, so um, but it's pretty it's pretty lean. So this is why we're going to inject it with the butter. I've blended down the butter. Um, just let it go cold, not stone cold, but uh, at kind of room temperature, and just suck it up and using. Okay. So, I've got this syringe, if you look, it's got uh, some kind of holes on each side, it's so you can, it's proper meat injecting one. They're really cheap, so, you just squeeze a little bit of butter into it. And then, go some, of it. some of it will come out, don't worry about that. Squeeze some butter into it. Whoops. Down into the meat. Squeeze. You will see the kind of skin rising where you where you kind of inject it. If you watch that a lot. So some of it will come out, don't worry about that. As long as we get some to stay inside, we just help to stop it from going dry. Okay, so I think that's enough of that. Probably didn't need too much butter. Okay, so all I'm going to do on the outside is just put a really good coating of 
black black pepper. I'm going to absolutely cover this because it doesn't really go. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for 10 minutes just while I start the smoker up. Okay, we've given it a good 10-15 uh, minutes now, so I'm going to get the meat on. Okay, then we're going to stick this probe into the meat, into the thickest part. And this one just hangs over the grate. And that takes the internal temperature of the, the smoker itself. We're then going to add our Jack Daniels whiskey chips. Okay, so as you can see, we're going to get some really good smoke now. Okay, so we're going to check this out in about three hours' time. Okay, my apologies for the car alarm or whatever it is that's going off but uh, there's not a lot I can do about that but we're around about the three hour mark now so we're just going to have a quick look at it yeah, it's obviously it's shrunk a little bit but it's looking good Okay, so this meat's been on here for five hours now and uh, I'm going to take it off and wrap it up and let it rest for a good 20 minutes to, to kind of half hour, okay? Okay, this has had a good rest now, so let's have a look to see what it's like. I wrapped it in cling film so it can rest. So it's got some really nice smoke rings if you can see there, the, um, the kind of pinky bit is the smoke that's penetrated the meat. The smoky taste is lovely, um, it's just pulling apart look, nice and tender. Okay so that is delicious. So I'll um, I'll add the recipe for the, the the butter that we injected into the meat onto the video descriptions. And if you like the video, please give it a like and please subscribe. Cheers.